The World Bank insists Uganda has to ensure the country's land reforms are hinged on having quick access and proper documentation if generating yields as a factor of production can be realized. I think the biggest beneficiary will be the private sector. Transaction, land transaction will be moving faster. Finance institutions will be able to provide uh, more loans, more mortgages will be done. But above all, uh, there will be surveyors and real estate agents all benefiting. All in all, it's a win-win situation. The head of Africa region's financial and private sector development at the World Bank argues that obtaining efficiency from the Tribal Lands Registry now requires a multi-pronged approach. Now, in the second phase, we are adding another eight uh, zone offices in Rukunjiri, in Kabale, in Impiji, in Ruero, in Mtiana, in Soroti, Tororo, and Moroto. So that way, this centralization would have been done. Reacting to the fresh line of funding worth $130 billion from the World Bank, meant for expansion and equipping of new zonal offices, Lands Minister Dawi Migereko regretted that the inadequacy of expertise in the ministry was slowing down the process of title acquisitions. In addition to that, we shall be dealing with uh, issues of land registration in the uh, north and northeastern Uganda. Uh, we shall be dealing with uh, physical planning in the Albertine Graben. We shall be dealing with uh, physical planning in the Karuma area. Experts on land computerization are equally cautioning Uganda to critically focus on building technical capacity in order to ease registration and transactions on land. And I see that there is need, particularly in the geoinformatics uh, field, where you have people to, to, to set up the, the databases, to manage the front ends. Reina Ojan, NTV Business.